This video will demonstrate how to use FL Digi to key your rig using the QSK right channel. If you'll go to the configure menu, modems, timing and QSK under general, CW general. Right here we have a check mark next to QSK on right audio channel. So I'm only using the right audio channel from the sound card output. We're going to be able to use all these parameters here to really fine tune how you want your CW to sound at QRQ on your rig. You'll need one circuit to do this. You'll need an audio derive keying switch. Here's an example of just one in the article. This will be in the show notes for the link. This has worked. I've used this one for several years now and it's worked pretty well for me. There's a little picture of it, breadboarded. And here's another one that's used. I think that's a transform that does a really good job. I think you can still get that one to help get all the audio out of your sound card into the circuit so that it'll reliably key that switch. So let me demonstrate these controls. I have, instead of keying a rig, I'm going to key a software code practice oscillator called Sign CW. We're going to use Jack Audio to come in FL Digi right channel. It's going to go in to this unit here which houses the Sign CW VST plugin. This is a keying switch right here. This acts as the keying switch itself. So the audio comes in to this Regate VST plugin and it triggers a threshold. That threshold then triggers a MIDI note to be precisely on and off whatever CW element is on the input of it. The output creates a musical MIDI note at a certain frequency around 700 Hertz for this system. And this is the actual plugin. Right now I'm using my paddles. So that's going to act like a rig. And it's going to go over to the sound card so that you can hear it. Otherwise, this if this represents maybe you have an ICOM or something, or maybe you've got one of those Hil Hilberling 8000s. Anyway, let's get to it. This is my microphone here. Okay, so I'm going to send a file and try to send it at the QRQ speed that you want to go at so you can fine tune these. And I'm going to get a file here from W4BQF about sending and recopying CW over 70 words per minute. So I'm going to try to talk above this Morse code so that you can hear me speak. I'm going to adjust these parameters and you can hear what it sounds like. Right now I'm going to use the QS QSK control. So each rig's a little different on key down and key up as far as how long it takes and how many extra milliseconds you get. So you can trim that off as you listen to your side tone from the rig. So let's get really short here. So you can hear how light that is. And this is weight by timing, not by percentage. So it trims off or adds to by precise 0.1 increments of milliseconds on both the dit and the da. So let's take it back to, let's get a little bit heavy. So you, you see how that works? So set that first till you get close. And then you can adjust this right here as a fine tuner as well. So this goes, I'm sorry, this goes by 0.5 milliseconds each. And you can go by 0.1 by adjusting this timing when you're using it this way. So let's get a little bit lighter. So that does the same thing. And it will get heavy on the other end of it. So listen and adjust until you're content with what you're hearing. And here's the dot dash ratio. And we'll go down the other way. So there's a lot of adjustables here. And then here's weight by percentage. So not only do you adjust weight by time, you can do weight by percentage. 
and this adjusts the same percentage off the dot and the dash. We'll go the other way. And you can hear it get light and heavy. And we're running at 75 words a minute. So tr just adjust that until you're happy with what it sounds like. You also have a different type of raised cosine, and this changes the way it sounds too. We'll go back to here. Okay, so that pretty much sums up how to do that. Again, what you're doing, you're using this audio from FL Digi, and you're going to this keying switch. One, there's, a, there's a bunch of these in this article here. Say you've built this one up. And that keys your rig. This, this transistor goes to ground. And you hook this up from ground here to your rig's ground. And to that, to the CW keying switch plug on, or the jack on your rig. That's all you have to do. That's basically how you use the FL Digi QSK on the right channel to adjust your parameters and key your rig with this audio derived keying switch. Thanks for watching.